Doom is cold. <laughs> Okay, so can you see the presentation? Yeah. Cool. So we're going to focus on that today. Um, so we're going to talk about um, this thing called um, HPT, or um, as it's called um, commonly, Human <laughs> Performance Technology. Um, you can see it's trademarked there as a, as a trademark name, um, and we're going to talk about that. So it's a new frontier in neurostimulation. This is quite a nice, um, a nice statement about it, I think, and I'll let you read through that yourself. Um, the thing that I think is really important about this is that it talks about wellness advocates and professionals. Now, there are 2000 plus medical practitioners that are um, promoting, selling, prescribing this to their patients and their clients alike. And I think that's a, a great testament to, um, to how widely it's, uh, it's been received in the uh, medical, uh, medical fraternity. How did it start? Um, I think it's really important to just touch on this. Um, a chap called Jay Dalliwal over in uh, Canada. Um, he, um, he's the, the CEO of the whole organization and he invented the technology called human performance technology. Um, started off when he was age 13. Um, his mother was diagnosed with a, um, a horrible disease and he, um, he'd already had a career, um, not by the age of 13, but afterwards um, in, uh, in certain things um, are shown on the screen there. And he decided to invest um, a lot of time and money in, uh, in finding out um, how he can help his mother through this horrible and um, debilitating uh, illness. So he spent all that time and effort and uh, he created this thing called Vox Human Performance Technology and other things afterwards as a consequence of bringing this out. And he's on a mission now, a very audacious mission, uh, mission to help one billion people worldwide. And he's already said that when he gets to that target, he's going to go for the next billion and keep going and keep going until the whole of the planet's done. Um, but where we are right now is uh, we're in the region of five million people um, have, have got this technology in their, uh, in their hands, or more importantly, on their feet. So what do we look for? Um, who, does this, um, who does this technology help? Let's have a look at the, uh, the Vox place, the Vox marketplace. We look for people to help with all of these things. And as you can see on there, the bottom three of that list, um, you would think apply to older people, <clears throat> the older people. However, what we're finding is that younger people are also getting these illnesses as well in the, uh, in the, in the, the modern era as they've been exposed to more environmental toxins and the like. Um, so don't think about this as being a, an old person's technology. It certainly is not. What else do we look for? <clears throat> Some of those things there. Um, anti-aging in terms of uh, re replenishing ourselves and the quality of life thing. There's a, a, a friend of mine called uh, Rory, um, who he talks about, as well as his knees that uh, now feel no pain when he's playing golf in particular, he talks specifically about his quality of life and how that's improved over the, uh, the course of the last few months. He's been on um, HPT now for 10 months. And of course, exercise and sports performance, which is why we're here today to talk about exercise and performing in the sport of Nordic walking. <laughs> so how does it work? I hear you ask. Quite simply, you put the technology onto your feet or on your arms or some other part of your body, which triggers a neuro response inside your, the part of your body where it's being worn. That information then goes through your neuronal system to your brain stem. Um, as we've found out, the brain stem, which is about the size of your thumb at the very base of, at the very top of your spine where it meets the brain, is a very important part for REM for keeping us regularized. Your central nervous system, then in your brain, commands the peripheral nervous system, which then affects various different parts of your body. Uh, as it says on the screen, which you probably can't read, pain regulation, motor control, balance, and other aspects as well. And you end up feeling the difference. Uh, the effect is instant. Uh, it, can, uh, it can be like the drop of the bat, or it can take up to seven seconds, um, ranging from improved balance and those things you can see on there, better energy level and recovery process. And I've certainly found that um, my own experience, um, recovering from gym exercises and um, circuit training, my recovery is far better than it was before I discovered this, um, this technology in uh, December of last year. So thanks to John Moody for um, putting, me, putting them my way. Okay, that's a, a little bit of information. Um, let's, um, let's talk about some testimonials. So let's find out for some real people how this technology has impacted mm -hmm. them. So first of all, I'd like to ask Sue Bedford, who is a nurse practitioner, um, to tell her specific story about how uh, Vox HPT has helped with her, with her Nordic walking. 
Sue, can you um, find yourself, please? Unmute yourself and give us your story. Right. Hi. Um, well, I, actually, I, I found some really interesting statistics yesterday uh, about Nordic walking. Um, I've been doing it for about three years now, but apparently cycling uses 45% um, of your muscles in your body. Running uses 50%. Nordic walking uses 90%. So it's one of the best ways of actually getting exercise. And as I said, I've, I've been doing it for the last look, about, about three years now. Um, and I got the socks. They were the first product I, I got about 20, just over 20 months ago. So I was one of the first people in the UK to, to try this. And of course I couldn't wait to go on my next walking, Nordic walking session wearing them. And uh, the first, the session actually started off, off with us going up a very steep hill. Um, which we didn't used to like doing until later on in the session, but we did it right at the beginning. And one of the things I found was I actually just zoomed up the hill <laughs> really quickly. My, my legs felt stronger. Uh, and then uh, we went for about an hour, just over an hour or so, walking quite fast around the streets of Bedford, where I live. Um, and uh, at the end, I was usually quite glad that it was over. Uh, but actually I felt, oh, I feel like I could keep going. You know, this, this, is, this is good. Uh, but we normally do um, sort of cooling down, uh, stretching exercises at the end. And one of those is one where you have to stand on your one leg and pull the other one up and stretch, stretch it. And I used to find I was always sort of wobbly and having to hold on to something. Well, this time I wasn't doing that. I thought, is this in my head? You know, am I just imagining this? Uh, I didn't think I was because I, I don't usually get influenced like that by that. By that. But uh, anyway, two days later, I went to see my chiropractor for my normal monthly adjustment. And uh, I see him, I, I'd already mentioned about the, the technology to him. I'd, I'd heard about it and I couldn't wait to get hold of it. So anyway, he took the, the socks off my, my feet and did some tests on me. And one of those was to, uh, to me to press against his hand my foot against his hand and uh and I was I was really weak uh you know I couldn't couldn't move, move him at all but uh, then he put the socks back on again and that's what we both of us were absolutely shocked because that's when we felt the difference the real strength that was in my in my foot uh and so he knows wears them <laughs> and recommends them to his, his <laughs> patients as well <laughs> but it, it was just so and I no one had ever done a demo on me so I could feel the strength that way so that was the first time I felt it and I I wouldn't even dream of going Nordic walking without them now it's made made a lot of difference to how I feel, how I recover. I used to sort of ache for about three days after doing the session. Uh, and now I might have a very slight ache, but it's gone by the next day. And it's, it's just amazing. So yeah, <laughs> that's my testimonial. <laughs> Fantastic, thanks very much, Sue. That's, uh, that's an amazing testimony. And um, I'm loving the Christmas sock you've got in behind you. Is that one of the oh, box, yes. um, socks as well? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, thank you very much. Um, I should have said at the start, I'm sorry, I'm just, you know, nervously excited about this whole thing tonight. Um, so my, my background is I'm, uh, I live in England, I live in Buckinghamshire. Um, I'm, I'm originally from the north, the, fro the frozen north of England up in Cumbria, hence my, um, my guttural northern accent uh, on, on occasion. I've also spent a bit of time in the, the Royal Air Force, RF Regiment, um, and the time in the RF Regiment was well spent because I, I met people like Mike Neary, who is an uh, ex-RF Regiment um, supremo, um, he's also um, he's really trained himself to be a health um, health and um, health and safety um, trainer, and first aid trainer, and massage therapist, and Nordic walking coach. So, Mike, could I please ask you to give us your testimonial about Vox products, please? Yeah, sure. Um, Nordic walking, brilliant form of exercise. You know, you burn a damn slight more amount of calories than you do in, in general, and it's brilliant for for. for well, I suppose the older age bracket, not that I'm saying you're looking old soon or anything like that. I'd never be that rude, but I'm looking at Graham Cook really. Um, and you can get injured. And I did in February, I was walking, coming down off a hill, quite muddy and I slipped. I've been a, a massage therapist. I knew exactly what I'd done because I've done it previously. And I tore the anterior talofibular ligament right in the ankle. And I heard it, I heard it snap and I thought, oh, this is not good. Fortunately, we only had about three quarters of a mile to get off, so we got off. And I thought, well, I'm not going to go and see anybody because I know what I've got to do. I've just got to, you know, obviously ice it and all the rest of it. 
and I was trying to do my own rehab. And I got a phone call from a strange bloke saying, have you got, I actually got a message from a strange guy saying, have you got five minutes for a chat? And it was actually Stuart. And, and I said to Stuart, I said, you know, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Stags and Swiss, I'm injured at the minute and I'm really frustrated. He said, right, so I've got something I want you to, to experience. And being the ex, the ex military guy of 22 years, to say that I was a bit skeptical about this product was um, kind of, you know, it really, oh, I thought, it's a pair of socks, man. This is never going to work, you know. And one of one of my one of my uh, if you like rehab exercises was to do single leg calf raises, right, to really strengthen the ankle. And another part of it was to just stand there and balance on one leg. And it was failing to the left all the time, just failing. And I was getting more and more frustrated by this. And then Stuart turns up and he's got the insoles, and we didn't even try the socks. We just put the insoles on the floor. And he said, you know, and we've done the tests. I thought, okay, well, yeah, okay, you've moved me a little bit to the side and you pulled me forwards. I thought, I do this with my own patience. So I knew, I knew how that worked. And he said, just <clears throat> take the socks off and stand on these insoles, which I did. And I just couldn't believe it. And it was literally within a matter of seconds. I, I said to him, I said, right, that's work. I said, let's, I just want to try something. And I stood and balanced for 30 seconds on my left ankle. Like, you know, and there was there was no hesitation left and right. It was just rock solid. And I've used the product ever since. Um, and I've, I've spoken to people about it because I really do believe it works. Um, I have the insoles in my walking boots. And I've got I've got three pair of walking boots, so they're, they're in each one just in case I forget. And I found performance wise, um, more so when I was locked down. The, the first lockdown that we had, I was hitting about anywhere between 70 and 80k Nordic walking a week. So, you know, that, that's, that's a fair amount of miles at pace as well. It's it's not a, a nice slow amble. It's like, let's get out and, and you know, and knock sort of 10, 10k out in about an hour and 25 minutes or an hour, hour and 20. And wearing the product, it just, the recovery was just, it was there. Uh, you know, there was no delayed onset of muscle soreness in the legs, anything like that. So yeah, I, I, I completely believe in it. Um, I spoke to a friend of mine who was on the call, Graham, Graham Cook, and I'm sure Graham will say something a little bit later on and mention the product to him. And again, I know Graham's had some, some really good experiences. And it's just it's just getting it's introducing it to other people now. Um, yeah, so definitely. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Mike. That's um, that excellent. And we, we're going to go into Graham in a little while, if that's okay. And um, Graham is a, a, a chap, and um, I don't know if he's on the call yet, but um, Ted Patterson, I'd like to. Um, bring up um, after another a bit of presentation as well, if that's okay. So ha hang on to your um, powder for now, Graham. You'll be on soon. So the presentation um, on from testimonials. So what does it actually do? So um, enhances pain management. Um, trials been done, 1,000 participants, 940 of them, as you can see from the slide there, um, said that their foot pain was reduced better mobility and balance, faster recovery, as Mike mentioned there, and certainly I've experienced that myself as well. The, uh, the delayed onset of muscle soreness the next day um, is very palpable for me. Neural health, uh, this is a, a quite an interesting one. Um, we've, we've done studies um, of people with um, neural optimization of their brains. Remember, it, it, it helps to um, enhance the brain flow. Um, the study that was carried out here, there were um, the lowest improvement was about 10% improvement in brain optimization. So every single person had an optimization in their brain. And the average was 36% in, in, in overall brain optimization, which is phenomenal. So every single person in this trial achieved a, a, an, an improvement in their brain optimization. And increased energy. Um, and I certainly find that um, sometimes when I wake up in the morning, if I haven't been wearing my socks at night for whatever reason, it's too hot or whatever, um, wake up in the morning feeling a bit listless put the socks on and hey the, the brain starts to kick back into action again so how do we know this works so what we do is we do um, brain mapping now the brain mapping we do quantitative electroencephalography allography, electroencephalography the encephalography is effectively sensors on the outside of your brain which measures the activity inside your head so it looks at brain connectivity and the communication across your brain and what we find is that it effectively gives us our brain's strengths and weaknesses across the whole range of the cognitive process. 
which is different to an MRI, because an MRI only shows the structure of the brain. So this actually looks at the communication across the brain. So there's been um, more than 5,000 studies of human brains. Um, I know that Kevin Degay has, has had his own experience of, um, of the brain, so we'll, we'll, we'll speak to Kevin later. He's a sports therapist over in, uh, in Canada. Um, so we'll speak to him about his experience, perhaps, of that. Um, but on the, the left-hand side here of the screen, you can see there's a brain that's a cross-section of a, of a brain. The red areas are showing suboptimal communication. So in that case, it means it's slower than normal. The yellow is, again, suboptimal, and the green is showing as optimal communication across the brain. So when you look on the left, what, what does that equate to? Um, again, these, these trials are pretty typical of someone without HPT on their feet or their body. Poor balance, inattention, poor decisions, cognitive decline, as you can see. Now, when we put the technology onto their feet or different part of their body, within seven seconds, sometimes, sometimes instantly, we can see it shifting to that shown on the right-hand side, which obviously gives you the very positive benefits of the, uh, of the technology. So, without any further ado, I'm going to um, switch to um, a couple of testimonials. So, if I can ask um, both Graham Cook to um, to get to, to unmute yourself and speak to us about your thing, um, and also um, Ted Patterson can be on standby if you're here. So, Graham, please tell us about your story. Before you do, um, Graham is an accountant. He's got a fantastic accountancy company, uh, which he calls Cook the Books, which I think is phenomenal. Um, so, Graham. Tell us about your experience with HPT, not with accountancy. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart. Yes, good evening. Um, as fairly specific with uh, my experiences and my testimonial rather than general, Mike um, told me about the, the, the product that Stuart sells, and I have heard of the technology before, so I was quite excited to try it. And the things I have definitely experienced with this is the improved balance. I have an issue with not clinical vertigo but what most of us would describe as vertigo fear of heights that standing at the top of the stairs and not too sure about which foot goes first when i have the socks on i'm much more confident much more balanced uh, and, and i'm up and down stairs like a 56 year old rather than a 58 year old um <laughs> but it, it to me there's that there's that tangible improvement in my experiences with vertigo and also if you then relate that to uh, to the nordic walking um mike is the instructor that i walk with um and there's one walk that we do and i know there's another member of our group here and we have a hill now going up the hill everyone you know loves me going up the hill because i go up it but coming down the hill has always been my nemesis it's it's, it's a fairly steep hill and i've always been worried about going down it but i now have the insole same as mike and my confidence of going down the hills is vastly improved. So therefore I'm getting more from my Nordic walking because I'm more relaxed whilst I'm walking. So, I mean, they're, they're specific things. I'm sure if Mike and I spent a few minutes, he could, because he observes us when we're walking and he will probably point out that my stamina's improved, my general fitness is improving since I've been wearing the socks and the insoles. So I'm sure there are other things that I haven't, seen manifest myself because I've been concentrating on the the balance and the vertigo so I am you know, very positive great fun wearing his socks in bed you know um and obviously if it's improving my balance my debits and credits as an accountant are always going to be equal <laughs> fantastic thank you very much Graham um, no. I'd like to introduce um Ted who um, we haven't actually met Ted Ted Patterson in the uh, in the states um can I introduce you to uh, the, the group, please, Ted? Um, unmute yourself yes. and tell us your story about Nordic walking, please. Yes, uh, my name is Ted Patterson. I'm, I'm actually in Canada, and um, I'm a personal trainer. Uh, I specialize in seniors, and I specialize in post-rehab exercise. And I was introduced to the product by Kevin Duguay, who is going to be on a little bit later. And uh, he taught me the post-rehab uh, exercise program. And uh, so I started using it immediately on my seniors that I was training, and I was just blown away by the difference in their balance and stability and, and ability to move uh, more freely. And um, early in the game, um, when Vox Life was just getting going, this was back in uh, 2015, uh, they became so busy, they asked me to come in and, and work in the office as well. So I spent about two and a half years in head office working there. And uh, it's an amazing product. It's just, um, I can't say enough about it. 
I'll be working with rocks till uh, they, they take me out of here. But um, I, my, my, uh, I guess my, my testimonial for, for the Nordic walking is that after years and years of running and weightlifting and you know, cycling, probably the tension too high, my knees started really bothering me. I guess it, old age is a factor as well. And um, so I was interest, introduced to Nordic walking about five or six years ago by someone else, I think, who's on the call here, Nordic uh, they're not Fatterbauer. And um, so because my knees were bothering me and I wanted to be able to get out and just do some good, good cardiovascular work, I thought I'll just pull out the, uh, the Nordic walking poles again and give those a shot. And uh, I was cer certainly glad I did. It was a, it's a great uh, uh, way for me gain cardio. I live out in the country so I can really do a, a trek right around my property and um, really take seat, it's tr stress off my knees. I can really stride out and, and, get, a, and get a good workout without, without hurting my knees. And uh, as, as, as Lynn was saying earlier, uh, or sorry, Sue was saying earlier that it works about 90% of the muscles in your body, which is great. It's a great adjunct to weightlifting that I do as well. So um, if anybody's you know, in uh, Nordic walking and they wanna get involved also with, with Vox Life products, It'll really turbocharge, as people are saying early, here earlier, it really turbocharge here the uh, advantages you get from Nordic walking. And as an instructor of seniors, um, it's really important from my point of view to get people out, get people out and moving. And um, so uh, as advocates of fitness, uh, I think it, it, it's incumbent upon us all to get seniors out and get them moving. And uh, if we can help them with their balance and reduction in pain, um, then uh, they're able to take the next step and do a little Nordic walking as well. So Vox Life products increase your strength by about 17%. Um, they increase balance and stability by about 30%. So that's an eight times fall reduction for seniors. So if, if they're nervous about getting out and getting involved, um, you know, this may just help them take that next step. And, and it was mentioned earlier too, there's, uh, we did a thousand person study and with uh, on foot pain and uh, plantar fasciitis, plantar fasciitis, and this is an area that I I, I strained my foot running on hills and uh, I ended up with plantar fasciitis, and I found the insoles really helped to reduce the pain in my in my foot. So uh, great pain reduction there too. So I think it's a good opportunity for get to get people get seniors out and get them involved as well. So as I say, uh, as fitness advocates, I really think that we should use their Vox Life products and Nordic walking to, uh, to get people out and get them moving. An awesome power pack of um, stuff added together there. Thank you very much. Ted, thank Welcome. you very much. And um, I'd, I'd like to um, invite another, another chap I haven't met either yet, um, Gurmit Badabauer, um, who um, apparently introduced Nordic walking into um, Canada. Um, he's also got a, uh, a bit of a background I hear of uh, elite sports. So. Um, Kermit, can I please ask you to um, unmute yourself and uh, give us your story? Yeah, hi everybody. My name is Gernot Faderbauer. I was uh, uh, an Olympian a rower actually, right? I moved to Canada 18 years ago and I brought uh, Nordic Walking to Canada in 2006. I started the Canadian Nordic Walking Association and uh, I was a personal trainer also. I met uh, Ted and, and uh, Kevin and they introduced me to the Vox technology and, and I was blown away, right? So, but uh, my story with Nordic Walking is that uh, I also, I have my own import business with the equipment and I have people coming to my house because they wanna sh uh, save shipping costs, right? So they're coming to my house to, to get the poles and then uh, I ask them why is Nordic Walking, right? And they're telling me all the aches and pains and you name it. And then they end up spending 10 times the money on Vox products, right? Because <laughs> they obviously see the benefit and, and they see how they need it. And we always have so much fun uh, because they came to my house to save money in the first place, right? So <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, we have amazing results, right? Like uh, people love it. And uh, I can only say, doesn't matter what sport it is, right? Uh, but especially with Nordic walking, you have a lot of seniors, right? And, and uh, the, the, the more people actually have problems, the more extreme the results are, right? So I can only highly recommend it to combine it 
with any activities. Fantastic, thank you very much. But just out of curiosity, Gurmit, um, when, when you were an elite athlete at Olympic Games level, um, if this technology was available then, what do you think the difference might have been? Oh, I think, uh, you know, I was very lucky. I was three times world champion and I always had a good day on that day. But uh, it's, it's not 100%, uh, right? So if you have a technology which is so simple, and uh, you can make sure you're gonna have a good day on that day where you need it. I think there's no question about it. Who would not use that, right? Like, uh, I think it's actually, it's only a matter of time where all athletes in this world, as soon as they know, they will use our technology. Yeah, fantastic. Um, so great to hear from a, a, a world Olympic champion as well. So um, welcome to the, uh, well, thank you very much for your, uh, your input. Um, I'd also like to introduce um, some other chaps here who, um, who um, are, are very large into um, Vox Life. And um, so um, both Terry Santamand and Kevin Dugay, who are retrospected, uh, respectively, number one and number two um, associates of the, of the organization. I'll let them fight out which one was which. Um, but um, Terry, could I um, invite you first to, um, to say a few things? Sure, thank you. How are you doing, uh, Stuart? Good to see you. Um, Gernot, what a... What a nice to see you, buddy, on here. Um, you guys, between Ted Patterson and Gernot Federbauer and Kevin Duguay, you won't meet three nicer guys in your life that are advocates for this technology. Um, I don't have any personal experiences myself other than these guys that I, uh, that I have personally with Nordic Walking. But one of the things that Gernot said is um, certainly uh, – you know, using this for Nordic walking is, is, a, is a huge value to allow you to get more out of it. And what's really important is it doesn't matter what you're doing. Um, wear this all the time and you'll get more out of your day. Whatever your day consists of, if it doesn't consist of Nordic walking, but it just consists of going for a walk or just consists of going for a run or, or just getting stuff done around the house, wear this technology and you will get more out of your day. No different than you will get more of your sport because one of the things that happens with our neurology is our, our neurology allows us to uptake and utilize our bodies in a more optimized way. Um, so therefore, whatever sport you're doing or whatever task you're doing, you're going to handle it um, with a lot more balance. Therefore, you're not going to burn, uh, you know, the, the uh, energy fighting balance and things that you do um, that exhaust you. So great point, Gernot. Um, you know, to, to have this on, on your um, body every day is certainly um, something that uh, will, will allow you to get more out of your day. Now, when you bring it into the sports arena, um, as in Nordic walking, as in I know for a fact, you're not and I have talked before, and if he had this stuff during his Olympic days, even though he's you know, <laughs> two-time world, world champion, he would have been a fool not to put it on, but I can assure you, he probably wouldn't have told anybody that he was wearing it. Um, <laughs> if he had that edge. So, um, that's, uh, that's just a, a, a reality of Olympic uh, and elite level athletes. Uh, um, they, um, they don't want to, especially when it's a team sport, when you got somebody coming up from blowing and, and biting at your job, you're <laughs> not going to spread the rumor of why you're still doing and still playing so well. But um, Ted Patterson, a, a tremendous guy, a tremendous advocate uh, for this technology. Um, this guy actually looks like a, a spring chicken. He's, he's um, ripped, he's in great shape. And um, he's been a huge advocate since uh, Kevin introduced him to this product back before the company was a company in 2015. And uh, as we all know, and some of you that are on this call, those of you that have been wearing it on a regular basis and making this part of your everyday apparel, the improvements that we hear after four and a bit years continue to get better. We continue to improve despite aging. And so we're allowed to do more at ages that wasn't um, particularly um, easy to do. And we're finding that, you know, people are doing things with a lot more ease um, and, uh, of course, recovery is a, is a huge factor to anyone's day. Um, we want to be able to get up. So um, great point, Gernot. Get it on. It's going to allow your body to uptake better and faster everything that you're doing um, throughout your day, whether it's just a regular walk around the block uh, or whether it's a, a fast-paced Nordic walk. 
um, get this technology on and share it with people and uh, get them to wear it in a compliant manner uh, every day and they will see a difference. Um, that is for sure. So Kevin, over to you. Cool. Thanks, T. Um, uh, Terry, I'll give it right back to you, man. Like you're part of the Fab Five. If you want to put four of us in there, man, I'll throw you in a heartbeat. Um, I, I, my twist on this, guys, on the Nordic walking is uh, I'll give you a, a different perspective. Uh, I saw the benefit with Nordic walking when Ted and I performed a presentation for a Parkinson's group here in Toronto. And I didn't know at the time because I wasn't working with Parkinsonian uh, uh, sufferers that because of their balance issues, why the Nordic walking poles was so important for them because it's like adding a pair of training wheels to your bicycle. And they knew the benefit of staying active, but ambulating without training wheels when you have balance issues is not a good experience. So they, they shun away from physical exercise and then you know, I saw this part, but then what happened was Ted and I and a cohort of ours, we, we performed, we did the presentation for a Parkinson's group here, Parkinsonian group here in Toronto. And what, what, what blew us away, and this is way back in the early days, folks. This is when we're like greener than the grass. I got snow today, but the grass was green a day ago. And what happened was all these people dealing with their balance issues are sharing their stories of what they're dealing with at different stages of the disease. And we had this was my this was our first Parkinson's presentation. And we demoed there, I think there were six different families with couples and different stages. And all six of them, the look in their eyes was like, OMG, what the flip just happened to my balance? It was like it was like six miracles just happened right there in the spot. And people were crying. Like you get emotional, right? Because you see these people struggling. And and Stewie, you brought up a great point, quality of life. Like, like they see their quality of life going like this. Like I'm in I'm in an Olympic ski jumping event going downhill, going, I want to go up the hill like Sue said. I want to go up the hill, not down the hill. And all of a sudden, when you combine the Nordic walking poles. With the Vox Tech, like Aeronaut said, it's a game changer, absolute game changer, because we all know the human body was made to move. This is this is unequivocal fact. So I said, if you start getting hypoactive, you're going the wrong, you're going the wrong way. So I look at Ted and Garnot, myself and Terry and all of us on this call going, no way, man. I am staying active till the day I die. Why? Because that's what the body was designed to do. So physical, mental, emotional, neurological, I'm bringing the gamut. And why? Because it's quality of life. And it's such an amazing tech. And then, and, you know, Stuart, your point, I, I, my, my main interest, interest can be a challenge. I had a PowerPoint, so I had to show you. But if you guys want to see my brain mapping images, I did a PowerPoint a while back when this whole Zoom thing kicked out with, uh, with COVID. I'm happy to send you a PowerPoint that I did showing my before and after with brain mapping. And it's when I saw my own brain map change 30 minutes with HPT and CBT, it's over. It's like Terry said, and Dr. Mark, I am never, never going a day, never without this tech, never. Why? I saw my brain change right in front of me. And like Terry alluded to, I've been at this for about six years, six and a half years now. I, I'm almost, I'll be 60 in January, folks. I do not feel 60. And Terry's point where I feel younger, my I, things are happening with my memory that like images are coming clear from early on in my life. Like it's amazing to see where this is all going. So I'm on a road trip like everybody else. You guys are a year into the game. You guys are rookies. <laughs> Terry and I are like vets. So you got to catch up. You got three more years to go, but you'll get there. And you're going... But I love the stories because we're, we're always wanting to be our best. That's, that's an athlete. That's why Gary Knott's mentality is the way it is. That's why Ted's the way it is. Terry's, Stewie, Sue, all of us on this call. So it's just unreal to see where this is going. And you are, the, you are your best lab experiment, honestly. And like, just tell your story. This is where I was. This is where I'm at. Every year I'm going to get brain mapped. Why? I want to make sure that this is staying on eight cylinders. 
or six if you're energy efficient, whatever you want to do. You pick how many cylinders, I don't care. But I got to keep this on top shelf, man. And this is our medical team that we're working with. So it's so exciting to see. And the stories today is just testament of how cool this tech is. So I'm done. Super. Kevin, thank you very much. Um, now, whilst we've got this opportunity, so we've got uh, we've got one world champion um, athlete in uh, in, uh, in the room. We've got a, uh, a seniors um, personal trainer. We've got a, uh, a sports therapist of 30, um, 30 years experience. <clears throat> one of the things that I really loved about Kevin was when he came on a, a call recently, he said um, he said when he was exposed to this technology, he said 30 years of his life were just thrown away. All of his knowledge from previous stuff was just thrown away by this technology. And he just switched straight into the Vox HPT and the other products that go with it. So at this stage, I'd like to invite anybody that has a question from this exalted audience of um, specialists to please um, pipe up and switch, switch your uh, microphone back on and ask a question. And I'm sure one of these guys can handle it quite happily. Hello there, it's Craig. Hi, Craig. Hi there, yeah. Um, yeah, mini, mini sort of testimonial. Um, I had a blood clot um, in my left leg about five years ago now. Um, been introduced to the technology around sort of three months ago, just using wellness socks. Um, and then I've added in the compression socks and just doing sort of flat, brisk walking. Um, yeah, I don't see the fatigue in my calf, um, which had the blood clot. Um, and it, it honestly has been, yeah, you know, it has changed. Absolutely. And it gives you that confidence that wow. something is working inside with the brain. Um, so, yeah, I do have walking poles. I wouldn't say that I've done Nordic walking. Um, they've been gathering dust for about uh, seven years after I returned from a trek to Everest base camp. So wow. I was... <laughs> to uh, dust off the poles. Wow. Face a little hill in front of me, similar to Everest. What could <laughs> I expect in terms of strength and power that would be going through the body in the arms and the legs to power me up that hill? <laughs> Kevin, would you like to start? Oh, I was gonna wait for the Olympian guy to jump in, man, hmm. geez. Um, well, you know what, actually, I'm going to tell, I'm going to share a story about Everest, but a different Everest. We had a doc, um, out of the, out of the States, Dr. Meyer did a kind of a mini Vox HPT study dealing with O2 saturation and altitude with a climb to Kilimanjaro, um, with a group that she was involved with and, she was amazed at the results that she saw with the tech with two groups there it was it was it was a live study basically done with two groups the group that was climbing one with the tech one without the tech and she was doing all her measurements that she was doing and what she saw was what the group that was climbing with the tech all the metrics improved so what i see now when i look at so like craig listen i'm in awe of you going to Everest Base Camp. I love those books. I think it's a, so amazing, that expedition. But I look at the physical demands. When you look at O2 sat, for example, in the death zone, and now I look at this tech going, this could make or break somebody coming back alive or not coming back alive because of the, of the demands on the body at that altitude. And so th these are all things for us to go into, right? With people that climb and hike and you know, rock climbing and bouldering and, and everything else, because we have the numbers, you know, we have the metrics with the studies that have been done. And then it's like, well, go climb, go to base camp again, Craig, and tell me what happens with the tech and do your own. You know, I don't know. That's why I look at it now. Just like, like Garnot and Terry and Ted said, just get the tech on, you know, your body, you know how you feel. Tell me what happens. And there are things that you can do to measure it. Like a lot of us now with our sleep, you know, this is another thing with the Fitbit, the smart watches. These are all simple tests that you can do in your own climbing. You can measure your heart rate. You can measure your, your stride length. I even found an app on my phone now that measures the balance on my Apple phone when I'm walking right to left. 
how symmetrical my gait is. I just found this out the other day. I'm only off like 3%. I'm going, that's pretty good for my age. I'm going, zero is optimal. So I'm, all, I'm off by only 3%, which means my gait is equal, fairly equal right side to left. That's really important for the body. So it, it, it's endless of where I see this going. <clears throat> but I know from our athletes that we've seen, they all see a change in their performance numbers uh, when we've gone to the gym or your gym would be climbing a mountain. All right, that's the gym. Let's go test it out. Thank you very much. Gernot, anything to add about the, um, the, the use of shoulders, arms that, um, that, that Craig asked about? Well, it's basically, I would say, you're going to have way more fun, you know, so the, if you can actually have the confidence that you have something extra in your pocket, right, I think that's very important for every athlete, you know, and uh, it's tested and proven and, and you will see it, you know, this is it, right, like, uh, you have a better quality of life and a better workout, a better day, a better everything, you know, just enjoy it and tell others. <laughs> Don't be selfish, tell others. <laughs> and from a senior's point of view, um, the Nordic walking really gets your arms moving, uh, uh, allows you to work, walk more upright. You'll often see elderly people walking, looking down at their feet because they're not sure where they're stepping and uh, they're hunched over and their posture is poor. So Nordic walking really helps out there. Also, it helps people to stride out. Um, most, many, many seniors cannot get across a light in this time that's, that's allowed, you know, before the light changes again. So uh, just, just be able to step out like that and really, and really get some real movement and also uh, get some uh, 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 movement in the body too, you know, extend things, get their range of motion going and that kind of thing. So from the seniors, I mean, I, I, that's where my, my advocacy, advocacy is, is, is with seniors. And I just think it's so critical to get people out and get them moving and get them walking. And I think the Nordic walking is great. I was good. I was getting concerned because my knees were really bothering me. And I thought, what, what am I going to do? Because I, I've exercised all my life. And, uh, and uh, Gearnot, uh, my pal Gearnot was one who got me involved in this, uh, in Nordic walking. And uh, it's great. I, I really, really enjoy it. So, and that just, uh, it's, if you, so if you know any seniors, uh, get them out, get them involved. And, uh, and as I said before, the, the uh, box like products just turbocharge everything and just makes it a lot easier for, for people to get out there, do it and uh, to recover afterwards. Fantastic, thank you. <clears throat> thank you. Um, are there any other questions before I ask my own question? If you have a question, please unmute yourself and uh, ask away. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so my question then to the uh, assembled um, experts of um, Nordic Walking, what what Vox Life products would you recommend somebody that is involved with um, Nordic walking? And what's the reason for that? So, you know, you've got a whole different range of, um, of elements. So what specific things would you recommend that somebody starts off with? I have the, I wear the, I use the insoles and socks. Uh, and well, I always, I, it's, it's a, it's a trick question because I have everything on. <laughs> <laughs> the HPT patch, I have the, the Neurovax patch and everything, but, uh, for anybody just getting started, I think the insoles are, are probably the, the, the first thing to start off with uh, from a comfort point of view. And uh, and I wear the socks at the same time. Thank Which you. insoles, please? Sorry? Which insoles? I use the Bliss. I just, I, it's not, I just find they're very, very comfortable, very soft. And I think it's a good uh, entree for, for anybody who's getting involved. Uh, because that, because that, as soon as you stand on them, you just feel the comfort, and uh, so that I always use the bliss. Plus, you don't get so dirty. So, just for the benefit of people on the call that um, haven't um, oh. been introduced to the full range of um, box products currently, there is a whole different. Right, there's three different types of insoles. Um, one is specifically for um, for comfort, which is the the bliss type. There's a there's a pair for um, sport, which is the the rush version. And there's a classic version as well, all of which are for diff slightly different reasons. And then there are different types of socks for different occasions, different patches, et cetera, et cetera. So please, for those kind of questions, go to the person that introduced you to this call tonight, and you could, sorry, this afternoon or tonight, depending on where you are. Um, you can ask, ask all those questions of the, uh, of the people that brought you in as well. And just to make another uh, 
another um, statement is that, um, that the Vox products do not diagnose, treat or cure any illness. So anything you've heard tonight that might suggest otherwise, um, please just disregard that because it's not true at all. We don't make any claims in that respect whatsoever. Okay, thank you very much. Um, any any final questions or any uh, any final points from anybody that would help other people and to do with um, Nordic walking or indeed general walking? Uh, I, I'd like to say, Stewie, that, that uh, one of the things, if you're going to pick a sock during the, the walking to look at the athletic line, because as an athlete, there's nothing worse than a sock slipping down inside your shoe, right? <laughs> so you may look at people and think they're all good, but if they're not wearing box, they may be terrible because one sock slipping down inside their shoe, but they look like, so I suggest that if you're going to use the insoles as well to, to combine it with, you know, um, our athletic line, whether you like a short sock for summertime, you know, in our no shows or, or mini cruise, um, right up into the cruise. I know I have a lot of people that walk that love our knee high athletic. And they just feel like they're held together. They just feel you know, well put together. So if you're going to wear a sock along with the insole for Nordic walking in particular, I would suggest our athletic line for sure, because it feels like those socks are actually hugging your feet. So everybody loves a good hug. So that's the one that would <laughs> My feet certainly do. It's the, it's the extra compression that you get from the athletic socks that, that, that give that, that, that warm hug, as, uh, as you might say in Denmark. Super, thank you very much. If there are no more um, questions from this, uh, this panel of experts, final chance, then I shall call. In I was wondering, I was wondering something, would, um, because you're using the poles, would the sleeve also be a good add on? Yeah. Great question. I've, I've, Stuart, I've actually used the sleeve whilst walking, then yeah, definitely. It just kind of really wakes your brain up, you know. Uh, and that was that was my perception to it, you know, wearing the sleeve. Um, and again, I was trying to. I actually did a little test, so I took the insoles out, didn't wear the socks, just wore the sleeve, and it was still, it was still there. The perception was still active. You know, Excellent, so that thank that you. Kind of the, one, one of the things about the sleeves, Ingrid, is it keeps you focused. Yeah. Uh, keeps you in the in, in the groove, so to speak, right? And a lot of athletes, um, you know, it's so important to stay focused. And Gurnett can attest to this. Um, you know, you got to be incredibly focused. Um, and so, you know, combining the, the two technologies, when you have the uh, CBT, cognitive boost technology, which the sleeve is, even though HPT looks at the overall brain and, and helps with, with uh, cognitive issues, what happens is when you combine the sleeve, the HPT then looks at it and says, oh, I've got a helper. I've got a helper that's gonna look after specifically my cognitive area. And so the HPT allows the CBT to do its job and stay focused and primarily make that its only focus so that the HPT can go to work on other areas of the brain. So certainly a very powerful combination wearing it to stay uh, focused and add that uh, add that extra you know um into your brain's um focus and attention uh during a walk for sure so great question thank you ingrid any final ones super so just to close then i certainly put for one and uh, mike will probably agree with this as well i wish this technology was around with when i was in the military <laughs> Because those um, those dunes I was running up and the uh, the other things I was running through rivers and carrying packs on my back, waking up the next day with awful back pain and stress, I certainly wish I had the technology available in those days to um, to help me through those days. So thank you very much for taking part. Thanks to uh, to Mike, to Graham, Terry, Ted, Dermot, um, Dermot, and um, Germot, um, to Sue and to Graham for taking part in the, the discussion. Thanks for being so honest and open about your um, your experience of the, the technology as well. Uh, and again, just to reinforce, if you've been on the call and you have any questions, please speak to the person that introduced you to this technology and speak to them about the, the, the individual things for you. I wish you uh, a very enjoyable rest of the evening or afternoon, depending on which side of the Atlantic you're on. Thank you very much and good night. Good night. Stuart, awesome night. job. Thank you very much. Great job, Great Stewie. Job. Perfect. Sure. Just like a pro.